The lawsuit against two Teton County, Wyoming commissioners is over. A judge dismissed the case today in what he called a quote, very clear call. Local News 8 Seth Ratliff has been following this story. He's here with us in the studio with more. Seth, what happened in court today? Todd, Linda, the lawsuit surrounded Teton County resident Tim Reiser, who sued two Teton County commissioners over what he called a coordinated effort to ruin the reputation of and fire the former chief of the Jackson Fire Department. Local News 8 initially talked to Reiser in February when he made his complaint against the Teton County commissioners Luther Probst and Greg Epstein. The plaintiff carefully lays out 80 pages of a concerted effort, most of which was gleaned from public record, not in dispute, that Epstein and Probst carefully engineered the removal of the fire chief. In Tuesday's hearing, the defense argued that even if what Reiser had accused the commissioners of was considered fact, Reiser had not properly filed the case and did not have the standings to bring the charges before the district court. Judge Cast agreed. 80 pages is quantity. Um, and what I'm wondering inside that 80 pages and inside this case is what is your injury? I am an aging man. I need medical care. I have a home I live in. I need fire service. The destabilization through corruption and breaking laws in Title VI of the Wyoming statutes is a direct threat to me as an individual. Judge Cast ruled that Riser had no legal standing in the case and dismissed the lawsuit with prejudice, meaning Riser could not file the suit again. I, I cannot, for the life of me, understand what personal stake he has in the outcome of these proceedings that differs in any way from the general public. According to Wyoming law, the case would have had to have been made by the Attorney General's office. However, even if the Attorney General were to investigate, Judge Cass has made clear he didn't see an issue in the actions of the county commissioners as outlined in Riser's lawsuit. That's a, an interesting statement from the judge. Does that mean the commissioners were completely above board in all their actions? Well, Todd, that's just one of many questions that remain. I want to reiterate that the arguments made today surrounded not the merits of the case, but that Riser didn't have the authority to bring the case before the court. That'd be the attorney general's job. However, the, however, Judge Cass' words indicate that he saw no issue with the way the county commissioners acted, but in such a controversial situation with how Chief Jelly left the county, people in the community are asking questions. For weeks, we've tried to reach out to the Teton County Board of Commissioners for comment on their side of the story, but Local News 8 has still received no word, no word back. Reporting in the studio, I'm Seth Ratliff. All right, thanks so much for that, Seth.